Okay, so I'm Jamie Dixon. I work up at Highland Valley Copper. I've been here for 10 years and um, most of my work is um, with the reclamation program. So reclamation is restoring um, the landscape and revegetating it. And the purpose of um, this tour today was the first, uh, I guess we call it, we're gonna call it a workshop in a series of three that we're doing um, to update our end land use plan. So what an end land use plan is, is when we do mining, we create disturbances across the landscape and we need to reclaim them um, and or revegetate them. So we need a big general plan to, to, um, to guide what we do um, to reclaim the landscape. This today is to give you um, an opportunity to see the mine site, what we've done for reclamation, what areas need to be reclaimed, um, and, and hear from, from you. So we've been trying to um, plant vegetation along the side of it so we can create um, a corridor from the natural forest around to the water for the wildlife to, to move back and forth. Our current end land use plan was uh, put together in 1998 and First Nations weren't consulted in the plan so right now we're using this opportunity to update the plan and get um, input from the Inflicatnik First Nations on um, to, to guide us in our reclamation pro, uh, program look at different species and different ways we can reclaim the mine site. My name is Heather Laird. I'm an aquatic consultant. I've been working with Highland Valley Copper for about 18 years and I focus on the ponds and pit lakes that are left behind after mining and we have two goals for all of them and that is that we want them to be a bioreactor that will clean up the metals out of the water and we also want them to provide habitat. So we either fishery if it's fairly deep or shorebird and waterfowl if it isn't. And so what the purpose of today was, from my perspective, was to show people what we've achieved thus far and to get input and questions which have been very useful in terms of what the end land use goals could be for those water features and what people would like to see in the future compared to what they've seen uh, today. This is a basic mine. The water has high pH. It's acid mine drainage where all the, the trouble comes from and where mining sometimes gets a bad name, but this is the other, it's basic. So we only have copper and molybdenum to be worried about in the water. Um, we're passing around a sample which just shows you some of the um, animals that are uh, living in Trojan Tellings ponds, the small ones. Uh, this pond is uh, eight meters deep at its deepest point, which means we can use it for a fishery, which has been going on here for a number of years very successfully. I'll let Mike talk about the fish, my job is lower in the food chain. Mine is to keep, make sure that the nutrients that are in this tailings pond are sufficient to keep the fishermen happy because the food chains are growing enough and we're getting a good bioreactor function out of this tailings pond. I thought there was a couple of dozen bird species using this area and they hired a, a bird biologist to come out and look. What he found was it wasn't a couple of dozen species that were using it, it was hundreds. In fact, about half of all the birds that are found in British Columbia. So this was the first workshop in the series. We'll be having um, a second workshop in, we're going to aim for around mid-September um, to really get people's ideas on what they want to see on the land. We looked at what we have um, today and we just want to get more ideas for the, for the communities. And then the last one, we're going to have a draft of what we'll have for the end land use plan to discuss with with the communities.